Hey everyone, Adam Contini here on behalf of OnGamers to bring you some of the latest developments in the Dota 2 scene. First up, the post-TI madness has begun and the roster shakeups that everyone has been expecting have finally started happening. Now, there have been a lot of rumors out there and not all of it's true, so we here at OnGamers have collected what you need to know. First up, and most notably, the captain of Team Newbie, Xiao8, has announced a temporary retirement after winning TI4. In a translated statement from his Weibo, Xiao8 said, Even though I am reluctant, I have still decided to temporarily leave this stage. I am very lucky I have accomplished my dream. I am very thankful for every teammate and opponent that has grown alongside me, along with the fans that have supported me all along. Because of all of you, my life has been more exciting. This news comes after Team Newbie was nominated to the Guinness Book of World Records for the greatest prize money in a video game competition for a team. Surely winning a million dollars a TI will set him up comfortably in his retirement. We wish Xiao8 all the best in his future endeavors. Next up, Team Liquid loses two of its members. Jimmy Demon Ho has left the Team Liquid squad after his short-term contract expired with them. In a surprisingly hashtag-free statement made on the TL forums, Ho said, I would like to thank Team Liquid's management and the rest of the squad for trusting me as a player and giving me this opportunity. Both the team and I were at a crossroads when I joined, and I think that everybody involved in this benefited from the collaboration. The roster is made up of fantastic players, some of whom I consider close friends, but I feel I need to seek new challenges to grow both stronger as a player and a person. I have genuinely enjoyed this small journey we've had with one another. Thank you guys again. Peter Weitu Nguyen has also left the team in order to return to school. He said, I had a great time playing under Liquid with the rest of my teammates. I wish you all the best of luck in the future. You guys are all amazing players. I would like to thank all my fans and friends who have supported me throughout the year. I will try my best to get back up there one way or another. For now, I plan on going back to school in September and returning when the time comes. Still expect to see me around this year, for I do not plan on retiring anytime soon. Once again, I want to give a big thanks towards my friends, fans, and the rest of the Dota community. You guys are awesome. The Navi roster looks like it isn't changing after all. All five players of the Navi US team have been confirmed to be sticking together by Braxton Brax Paulson on his personal Twitter. He said this, Just to dispel rumors, Navi US will be staying together. Hashtag TI5. I hope with more time we'll develop our teamwork and be fighting. In other Navi news, Ivan Artstyle Antonov, who was part of the Navi squad that won the first international, is making a return to Dota 2 by joining the relaxed Dota squad, as announced on the team's official Twitter. Now, in one of the most unexpected moves of the post-TI offseason, Mason announced his retirement from Team Evil Geniuses and Professional Dota in an impassioned post, saying, the day after the after party, Tuesday, my team held a meeting without me, and I was unaware of it for a while. Someone I knew knocked on their door and said they were having a meeting in my room while I was chilling with some other people. There, they discussed some things about the future of the team, as well as my future with them. In short, I was kicked from the team. EG has yet to announce a replacement for Mason, but we look forward to news regarding what will become of the third place team. On the other side of the Pacific, Team LGD Gaming announced the sad news that DD would be retiring. In a press release they said, not only was he an outstanding player, he was and will always be a close friend to the organization. We had ups and downs, but DD always believed in our values, which made our club what it is today. We will miss him, but it was his own decision to put an end to his long and successful career. However, he will probably not leave the Dota 2 scene completely as he is now interested in casting. Another Chinese player, DK's Lan M, has announced his retirement as well. Having put off marrying his fiancée in order to pursue his professional career, Lan M stated publicly that the time has come to settle down and raise a family. While rumors have abounded about other DK players retiring, including Burning and MMY, it's important to note that these are just rumors, and that as of now, no additional DK players have officially retired. Lastly, after being unable to advance past the wild cards at the International 2014, Dominic Black Reitmeier has confirmed he will be departing the Chinese-based CIS game team. Hey, after the disappointing performance at TI4, the team and I got together and decided changes needed to be done. I will be leaving the team, but I sincerely believe they are all very talented and have a bright future ahead of them. Thanks for all the good, good times. 
Sadly, after failing to advance past the wildcard bracket at this year's international, Virtus Pro players Illidan STR and Arzart have left that team. But it's not all bad news, as they've both landed on two very recently announced Pro Dota teams. First, Arzart has landed on the newly returned Moscow 5 team, joining Nexus, Vigos, and new players Tron and Blow Your Brain. Second, Illidan has moved to the brand new team NVMI, along with DK Phobos and former Navi coach Goblack. Another new team is being formed by Chinese pro Chen Zhu Yao, who announced that he's returning from the retirement he entered earlier this year, albeit in a more casual frame of mind. We are a for fun team. As long as everyone has fun, then it's good. Any fans want to help think of a team name for us, one that suits us? Shifting location slightly to South Korea, I'm afraid that Purge's legions of devoted fans will be a little disappointed to learn that he has stepped down from his role as support player on the recently formed team Zephyr. But all is not lost, Purge fans. The talented YouTuber and sometime caster will instead be acting as full-time manager for the team. More than that, he recently stated the following on Twitter. I'm happy to announce that Merlini is joining Zephyr Dota for one season of KDL. I'll be managing the team full-time, plus YouTube and Twitch. That's right, Dota All-Stars legend and noted caster at Beyond the Summit, Ben Merlini Wu, is returning to competitive play by joining Blitz on Team Zephyr. Good luck to Merlini, Purge, and the rest of the Zephyr organization. In weirder news, Danish StarCraft player John Baby Knight Anderson has abandoned the popular RTS game in order to become a professional Dota 2 player. After being cited on numerous occasions playing with MYM players online, the team officially announced that Baby Knight has joined their roster. Sad news for StarCraft fans, but welcome news for Dota fans. Here in America, Cloud9 has just announced the departure of the incredibly talented Sing Sing. On their website, team manager Jack ATN wrote, Today we're announcing that Sing Sing will be leaving Cloud9 to play with another team. It was an absolute pleasure working with him, and I'll miss having him as part of our organization. He is a rare talent that not only is extremely skilled at the game, but also a fantastic entertainer who is able to connect with the fans in a way that few players ever do. For his part, Sing Sing had this to say, It has been one of the most exciting and fun periods in my life, thanks to Cloud9 and my former teammates. I wish you good luck for the next season of Dota 2, and I will be looking forward to playing against you as well. My new team is already in the works, but like many teams, only time and experience will tell of its success. Hopefully, this move will lead to further success for both Sing Sing and the Cloud9 organization. That wraps up the tumultuous events in the scene for now, but stay tuned to OnGamers for more Dota coverage, and hit subscribe to be notified immediately when we release new material. I'm Adam Contini, thanks for watching.